Wendy Mitchell, whose journey battling young onset dementia has been an inspiration to so many, sadly passed away on the 22nd of February, 2024, aged 68 years young. Such an incredible supporter of research in our trust and a truly wonderful person. Our research team will miss Wendy very much and would like to say a huge thank you for everything she did by sharing this compilation video. Our tribute to a special lady whose imprint on our lives will live on in what we do. It seemed fitting that we start our conference with Wendy, since she dedicated so much of her time to research following her dementia diagnosis in 2014. Hi, I'm Catherine Hart. I'm the Assistant Director for Research at the Trust. And I just wanted to say a few words about Wendy. Um, I have no idea where to begin because words can't really say enough about her. As well as being a warm and wonderfully caring friend to me, Wendy was such an amazing lady and a true inspiration. Not just to me, but to our research team and to so many more people across the Trust, the region, and indeed the whole world. I never ever failed to be amazed by Wendy's resilience, her passion for research, and her determination to remain independent and to keep finding ways of battling the challenges dementia put in her way. If there was a solution to be found to help her stop dementia winning, then Wendy would absolutely find it. And she even did this at the end. I've personally learned so much from her and have shared that with friends and family along the way. Especially now I too have loved ones living with dementia. And I'm going to go on sharing Wendy's wisdom. Her books are such an incredible read and her generosity to give of her time and her experience knew no bounds. Everyone needs a Wendy in their life. And I was so incredibly lucky and honored to have Wendy in mind. Wendy's passion for research was undeniable. She was a true research champion and the face of a national campaign. My name's Wendy Mitchell and I was diagnosed with young onset dementia on July the 31st, 2014. And I might not have much of a short term memory, but that's one date that stays clearly in my head. So I went into this deep depression because I thought it was the end, because no one told me any different. Well, after a little while, I started to meet other people with dementia. Here I was looking at a woman who'd been diagnosed for 10 years, and she was speaking eloquently on a stage, and she was involved in research. And so that gave me that hope for a life still to be lived. I started to be involved in medical, social, technological research. Then I was suddenly asked to be involved in the launch of Joint Dementia Research, this website that would actually change the way researchers found participants. When I became a research champion, I could convince other people that research was the way to go. We can't change the future unless people take part in research. Dementia strips away so much and being able to take part in research just makes you feel that valuable part of society again. It gives you hope for a better future. Wendy's enthusiasm, humour and willingness to share her experiences have helped so many people and here's what a few of them wanted to say.
Wendy used to say that being diagnosed had given her so many new opportunities and things she would never have thought possible before dementia became her unwelcome visitor. Always a glass half full person. Here's just a few of those things. In July 2019, Wendy became a doctor doctor, first from the University of Hull and then a week later her second honorary doctorate, awarded by the University of Bradford. She had her first book published in 2018, a Sunday Times bestseller no less. And then two more. Wendy became a familiar face and voice in the media. She was thanked in a BAFTA speech by Julianne Moore. Everybody in the Alzheimer's community who was so incredibly generous with their time and their information and their experience, particularly Gillian, Wendy and Christopher who spoke to me so eloquently about their experience. Wendy received a British Empire Medal for services to people living with dementia in the King's Birthday Honours in 2023. She also won an award at the Alzheimer's Society People's Awards 2016 winner in the Realising Potential Volunteer category and the award was presented to her at St James's Palace. She facilitated multiple recovery college workshops, usually oversubscribed as she never wanted to turn anyone away. Some quotes from those attending her workshops. Wendy did some really extraordinary things to raise money for dementia charities. One last thing from Wendy. Take part in research and help give hope for the future.